Get it right. Putin's attack on Ukraine is to annihilate the existence uh, of a separate Ukrainian nation. It's our moral duty to support Ukraine. There are two or three obvious reasons for that. Uh, firstly, the long road to Ukrainian independence uh, has only recently uh, come to completion. For many occasions in the 20th century, uh, attempts by the Ukrainians to establish their own republic, their own existence, was crushed, uh, usually by Russians. But the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 was the final push that gave Ukrainians the opportunity uh, to be themselves. In the last 30 years, uh, great progress has been made in establishing uh, Ukrainian identity. And this final um, ordeal by fire is forging the steel of Ukrainian identity. Uh, so whatever happens, uh, I think that Ukrainian nationhood, Ukrainian uh, identity will uh, have been rescued forever. Secondly, uh, Ukraine is just one small square it's quite a big country, but it's one small square on the chessboard uh, of collapse of the Soviet Union, which affected some, some 20 nations. By attacking Ukraine, Putin is attacking uh, the rights and sensitivities uh, of a whole score of nations. And it's their existence and identity which is under threat uh, as much as Ukraine's. I am pretty confident that Putin is going to achieve exactly what he didn't want, namely the solidarity and the, uh, the strengthening of uh, all the former uh, republics of the Soviet Union, the former members of the Soviet bloc. Thirdly, the sanctity of the territory and borders of individual states is the foundation, it's the bedrock of the international order as established after 1945. Despite many conflicts, this principle still stands as the, uh, the rock on which uh, uh, hopes of peace and stability exist. By attacking the territory and the substance of a member of the United Nations, Putin is uh, attacking um, us all. We are all threatened by this. Uh, and there are several members of the United Nations who are likely to react uh, very negatively. Um, I think of China. The People's Republic of China is a uh, relatively new uh, country on the world map. Uh, it developed uh, after the revolution of 1945 and has been preserved by the principle of sovereignty over its territory. Uh, and China uh, is not going to be uh, able to tolerate Putin's adventure for long. Indeed, I think the whole world community will unite against Putin's rogue state. Finally, a word about Polish-Ukrainian relations. For much of the 20th century, Poles and Ukrainians uh, found themselves in uh, a series of quarrels, wars, uh, even genocidal atrocities. But for the last 30 years, they have been neighbors, um, 
respecting each other, developing in parallel. And now I think we've reached the moment of reconciliation. Poland has opened its arms to more than a million Ukrainian refugees. And this is going to change the mood of Polish-Ukrainian relations for the better forever. Thank you.